Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. So the first time in my life I bought a product from Bunnings which I've never purchased before, never been interested in it before, but I was shopping uh, there with a friend and he says, you have to buy one of these. And I said, no, I don't want one. No, oh, you have to, you have to. And anyway, what I'm gonna take you through and show you is this new tool. Here it is here, made by Trojan. We got a magnet, magnetizer and a demagnetizer. Now, why is that so important? Well, when you be using a screwdriver, and you're trying to attract a screw, you see what's happening, it can slide on the front, but there's no magnetic touch, so nothing's really happening there. I mean, it is working because it's, it's got a nice head on it, but if it's magnetized, so let's magnetize it. You can see? See how we can move it now? Okay, so this makes a bit of a difference. There we go, look at that. Okay, now let's demagnetize it. It's going towards the magnet. Okay, no magnetic force. So why is this so good? Because when you're using your deep screwer, it helps keep the screw on the end of it. Like so. Just like that, as you can see. So when you're actually in the T section, it's going to have that little bit more strength of keeping it on because we've all had those days where you're trying to line this up and line that up and you're trying to get this screw in there. So this is going to attract where you're trying to drive it from, this point right here, it's going to attract that a lot harder and make it nice and easier for you to drive that screw in. Because a lot of the time, you know, we're, we're, we put a screw on and it bumps and it knocks and then we've got to go on these funny angles to try and find it. So, after using it, um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. You just put it in there, go round and round and round. We're, magnet we're magnetized now, and let's check out the, the power of it. Okay, only a slight bit of mag magnification, but enough to hold that large screw on there. See that? Still holding. Still holding. Let's demagnetize it. Okay, screw. Still got a little bit of force, but not even enough to pull the screw up. See? So it definitely makes a bit of a difference when you've got screws on the end of your drill and you've got them like this, and you're trying to drill them in somewhere. At least it's hanging to your drill, which is, well, should have been. That's the difference. Leave your comments down below. Do you use a magnifier and demagnifier? Or are you like me and never used one in your life and this is now a new thing for you? Magnet magnifier. And the power it has, pick up a screw. All right, so you want to see how much power it has. Let's put a bit of juice on it. All right, what do we got here? Can it lift that big screw? Yes, it can. All right, galvanized hex head, uh, probably 80 mil screw. Can it lift that? Yes, it can. We need something bigger. Oh, here we go. AEI shear off bolt. Can it lift that? Oh, 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 yes, it can. So we're doing pretty good here. Um, okay. All right, you want more. I know you want more. Dynabolt. Can it lift that? No, it can't. Oh. Bloody good effort, but. Oh, lifting a Dynabolt. 10 mil, 100 mil long, Dynabolt. Oh, is that 100? That's definitely 10 mil, uh, maybe 80 or 90. But still in it, still in it. That's the power of it. Now let's check a demagnification one more time. Lift my, lift my 10 mil Dynabolt. Not working. So, the Trojan Magnifier Demagnifier, I don't know what you'd give it, but I'd definitely give it a good 8. It is a functional tool, it does work, and when you're like me and you've got like an extended and this is the way you roll and you've got those screws on the end of it and you're trying to hold everything, you're standing on top of a ladder, you're trying to screw in a door closer and all that, and dropping of a screw means you need to get down, put down everything in your hands to pick that screw back up to do, do it. Is it worth it? 
I say yeah. I say yeah, most definitely. If my screw, and I'll just magnetize again, if my screw was on the end like that, it so stops me getting off the ladder. Let's put it back on. I get a second chance. Second chance right there. And it might even help when, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's every now and again you might get a push off where you're, you're like, you're, you're barely in the slot. That's when it's gonna kind of help. Even there, you can see that, see that? It's hanging off the tip. I could recenter on it and it's actually drawing it to it. I'm only doing this, uh, with, well, I'm not even touching it. Okay, but let's put this forward direction and watch this. See that? It was hanging off the edge of my drill. It wasn't even centered and I was able to recenter it and drill it without, without anything. Do that again, huh? You wanna see it again? Sure. There we go. Hanging off the end of the drill and I'm gonna try and realign it with the piece of work or whatnot. And it's just a matter of getting in the right spot. It's a bit like one of those puzzles, you know? But that was more of what I was trying to aim for, where you're at the head of the screw and you're just trying to find that T section to line it up with. And look at that, look at that. Look at that. All right, give your comments down below. What do you think? Demagnetire and remagnetire built by Trojan, 12 bucks from Bunnings. Thanks for watching.